All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, your only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. And peace and blessings and love to you, beloveds, in the new covenant, in the new diathek, man. To you, brothers, and to you, sisters, man. Um, I wanted to get a lesson on First Corinthians twelve real quick, and uh, bring out edification. Edification. All right. Because uh, it has gotten to the point in Israel where, for me personally, all right, we're just going to have to bring out the context of the scriptures, man. So if, if Beloved's got to do whole breakdowns of certain books, man, and bring in balance to the body, which is I'm going to which I'm going to I'm going to break down. All right. And that's what we're going to do. Because. Whether Israel like it, whether Israel like it likes it or not, all right. Talking to you Israelites, the kingdom is coming, man. So, us beating on, beating on a dead horse, that's not edifying anybody. That's not helping anybody uh, move forward. All right, as you brothers and uh, some of you sisters who actually know me, um. One of my main talents, I help the sisters, man. I help the undefiled women because I have the experiences. I don't believe in red pill nonsense, Gen X, the whole nine. None of that stuff exists in the Bible. None of it. So automatically, I'm not talking about those type of people. But in the kingdom, there's, there's, there's not going to be any confusion. There's not going to be any hidden agendas, adultery, all this other nonsense, man. All right. So yeah, one of my one of my talents for show sure is dealing with the shawties, man. Not scallywags and, and weirdos. Um preaching uh the parables. Right? The brother a beloved can do uh music from time to time. But spiritual gifts is uh it's a numerous amount of things as long as you're bringing out the scriptures in context. Nowhere in the scriptures does it tell you that all the apostles did the exact same office in the sense of, look, even Barnabas and Paul got into it, man. It doesn't make any sense for one man or woman to have all the gifts. That's damn near impossible or burdensome, man, on one person. So what you see on the screen here, I got a car, right? Anybody who owns a basic or a used car, unused car, whatever. Right, we can clearly see how many parts are in the car. The car cannot just because the car has tires, a basic seat, and the steering wheel. That doesn't mean it can drive. You need an engine. You need components. You need very specific components, and every single last one of them is important. Literally, one ignition coil can make the whole car run bad. Next thing you know, you pay instead of paying. 150 200 100 if you don't know how to fix it you're paying three over two or three thousand that quick same thing with the body your physical human body yeah yeah yeah. so paul breaks this down let's get into it man so from uh the queens man the princesses when i do these lessons i'm doing that to get the women in order in context all right authentic and seasoned okay because i've experienced already i'm gonna keep saying this love gratification track check sexual attraction gratification check that's surface level all right and i'm and I, let me say this before i get into the scriptures man this this demonic red pill crap you freemasons you humans have created ideologies like paul said inventors of evil all right. So when I do these lessons for the sisters, man, if as long as I edify one, I did my job, man. All right. So let's get into it. First Corinthians 12. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. You know that you were Gentiles and carried away into unto these dumb idols, worshiping other gods besides our God. Even as you were led. 
Wherefore I gave you to I give you to understand that no man speaking by the spirit of Yahweh call it Yahweh Shai a curse, man. And that no man can say that Yahweh Shai is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost. Now, there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. All right. Diversities of gifts. That means everything's different. Nobody is the same. I don't watch every single last brother or sister, man. Every single last woman is not the same. See, that's you new age young weirdos, especially in you Masonic demonic agents of Satan. Trying to put in people's brain that this is normal. None of this crap you people doing are, are normal. You got two sexes warring against each other. That's not normal. That's some gay ass shit. Satanic nonsense in the atmosphere. Okay. Diversities of gifts in context. So I'm going to use me for example. The scriptures say in Sirach, a man that traveleth much has much experience. A lot of you brothers and sisters, man, pick your feet up. A lot of you brothers and sisters, man, you don't read the details of the Bible. Which is why you stay here. Right? So, my spiritual gift, uh, growing up, the majority of my mother's side was nothing but Asha's. I had nothing but time to just be quiet and observe and chill, man. Okay? All right. So from experience, since in adolescence, I used my experience to help these sisters, man, the righteous ones. I'm not talking about the ones who uh, who are hateful and confusing. All throughout the scriptures, the women, the the uh, righteous women had wisdom in the Holy Spirit. If y'all, if you men and women want to be limited, if you men hearing that. If that pisses you off, you're not a, you're not really a disciple, bro. Keep it in a hundred, because real disciples understand balance in the body. Another brother, he might be good at teaching about health or being a physician or elements. Another brother might be good at being a prophet. All right. Another brother or sister might be good at spiritual discernment. And Paul's gonna break this down. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. So everybody does not have the same office. Okay. K. Camp cannot do what Elijah does or what Marcel does or a line. And any other brother and sister. And I've said this when I fellowship with GMS, ITR. I, um, I think when I was with Sakari and them, I was still a babe. But I wasn't truly in a camp. I was just gathering information. But differences of administrations, different offices, man. All right. So my office, uh, through the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, because I received a dream about this as well. I received a dream one day, and I heard a voice in my head. So Lord willing, it was from Christ, man. But uh, I heard a voice, and it said that your lot or your job is to teach the women, man. All right. I know that sounds crazy to a lot of Israelites, but here's my logic. That way, every single Israelite knows how the Holy Spirit moves. If if all of you are complaining about the weaker vessel, wouldn't it make sense to go in the scriptures and bring out balance? Instead of stopping at one verse, not reading the whole entire chapter, spinning a narrative, boy meets world uh, uh, narrative, Shutting up the kingdom narrative. That, come on, man. And other brothers and sisters, everybody cannot be a King David. Everybody didn't light the incense or burn the offerings, bro. The Lord has a specific order. The order is not exalting men. Paul also exhorted women as well. Y'all just skip over that, though. Huh? No, I just come from a place of incelness. No sexual charisma, like yeah, like everything, bro. Too much whore whatever it is. Don't even add it into my world. I'm completely separate from all of you, and it's in a, in a good way. Am I talking ish? Because stuff like this, this mentality, limits the Holy Spirit. Not to mention, most of you have a, uh, an attention span of a two year old. 
And there are diversities of operations, right? Everybody does not operate the same. Apostle Paul is telling this to the Israelites in Corinth. But it is the same God which worketh all in all. So you cannot tell another brother or sister they're not in the spirit. When Paul just clearly told you, for all you new guys who think you deep because you're exposing camps, they were exposing camps before I did it. And I'm, I've been in the truth since I was 16 for nine years. So don't say nobody else is not in the spirit just because you know better. You know, you may know more than them or you may do whatever more than them, man. A lot of you guys are demons behind the camera. Bunch of weed head, funky weirdos, women as well. All right. My sanctuary is I'm trying to make my sanctuary pure and clean and balanced. Okay. Hold on, man. All right. So just like in the world, just like with a car, if your brakes bad, if your ignition coil bad, oil, uh, alternator, is so many components to a damn car is unreal. Okay. And if one of these components is bad, it can mess up every single thing. Now, instead of fixing one, one small error, now all of a sudden, this is your car to get to work. When you study nature and you look at nature, look how the trees, the peacocks, computers, well, I said computers, that ain't nature, but even everything in the world has different components. Nothing is just one way. But the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given by the spirit, the word of wisdom, man. Everybody don't have that. To another, the word of the word of knowledge by the same spirit. So just because a brother is bringing out knowledge on history, health, sex, whatever it may be, knowledge is knowledge. But it has to be correct knowledge. That's the key. To another faith by the same spirit. Everybody don't have that same level of faith. To another, the gifts of healing by the same spirit. Right? Everybody cannot heal. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of spirits. A lot of men and women have a very high level of discernment. In the Holy Spirit, I'm not talking about people who think they're deep. To another, diverse kinds of tongues, right? They can speak different languages. To another, the, the interpretation of tongues. And what's weird and what's out of pocket about you Israelites, man, whether you're in the camp, wherever you at. When I watch you, brothers, bro, I'm not, I'm not thinking about taking your office or Whatever, and if you do have that mindset, you are a weirdo. It's common sense to know that you can learn from other brothers and sisters, man. All you have to do is listen. You don't have to say anything, right? You don't listen to respond. All right. First Corinthians twelve and eleven. But all these work at that one and the self same spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. So. Just like how Yahweh Shai said in the New Covenant with the talents. He basically told you, you know, if you hide your talent, right, you're going to get punished. So why not just go flow, man? Flow. Because each and every brother and sister, you're bringing balance to the body. You got guys teaching against marriage, teaching against New Covenant, teaching against, uh, you know, well, teaching with false doctrine. Right, not private interpretations, man. You have you have to denounce all false doctrine to understand the Holy Spirit. You got to have a personal relationship with Yahweh Shah to understand this, man. But guess what? When you look at, I'm gonna use King David for example, in the Old Testament. You know he was groomed since a child to be where he was to be in a king. You have to be trained, just like at a job. 
Everybody's not the manager. Everybody's not at the receiving station, the stocking station, the shipping, whatever it may be. Every job, every each and every role is important. All right. You got plumbers. You got electrician, electricians. You got mechanics. You got lawyers, athletes. Even in the worldly sense, everybody's not the same. So how do you humans get in this Bible and just think everything's in a box? That does not make any sense whatsoever. I even showed y'all with the eunuch how they were there were men in the Bible with the specific office of guarding the women. But all you dudes, especially in you gay brews and one west and all you people who don't know love, you don't know none of that. See, that sounds lame to y'all, but I don't give a damn. Cause y'all y'all ain't even authentic for real. And you women too. Y'all weird as hell. Showed y'all in the scriptures. That there is a such thing as an office with eunuchs. I mean, uh, the keeper of the women. Or you had offices with everybody who was not a uh, officer. So like, I'm, I'm all over the place. Everybody wasn't a disciple. Everybody was not an apostle. Even in the scriptures in Revelation, right? Everybody's not a part of the 144,000. That's the VIP section. Okay. At what what how shall I say it is given unto you to know the mysteries the mysteries of the kingdom of Yahweh man and um uh, in my walk I understand marriage love and sex on a very 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 deep level so instead of teaching prostitution instead of teaching the basics how about I help beloveds with porn addictions how about I try to help flip it mentally that's a heavy heavy load. Because I have to know how to be disciplined myself. I have to rely on the Holy Spirit to teach me what the Lord said righteous sexual desire was, what this was, what this was. Right? Every Most of you brothers, you don't have that lovey-dovey spirit. And that's okay. The type of ribs y'all deal with, I don't like. Neither am I attracted to them. See, you Israelites get offended at different offices. That does not make any sense. Because y'all are the type of kids growing up that could not be alone for whatever reason. Y'all are too limited. The Holy Spirit is not limited, beloveds. That's why in 12, for as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, it has many members. I don't feel right doing something I'm not programmed to do. Every brother does not think the same. For you Italian street mafia weirdos. And you boy meets world red pill weirdos. Being many are one body. So also is a Mashiach. For by one spirit, we are all baptized into one body. Whether we be Jews, Israelites, or Gentiles. You got Hellenistic Israelites. And actual Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have made all, been made all, so like it, have been made all, what? So like it, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. For the body is not one member. Now I do the same thing. For the body is not one member. Now I teach the same exact doctrine. Focus on the men. For the body is not one member. But many. All right. And I'm saying that because that's men worshiping is the exact problem. Why we got in this predicament in the first place, Israel, exalting your damn men or women. Why are you exalting the creation more than the fearful living God, bro? You foolish people. The Lord called Israelites foolish. Paul called you y'all Galatians. Uh, Foolish, foolish Galatians. Yeah, how wish I called y'all fools, man. Just because it seems, just, just, just because it's popular or the multitude is doing it, that doesn't make it right. Y'all are trying to make it right. The Lord going is just going to destroy y'all. Y'all are in the way of everything that's natural. This is why I speak on what I speak on so much. All this talk about short guys, nice guys, dude. 
every single last one of you men and women, I will roast and I will blast your ass spiritually. Get from around me. See, by the time y'all catch up mentally, I'm going to be at step 10,000. It's not fair for other brothers and sisters to labor genuinely. The Lord don't care about your damn height, all this bullshit. King David was poor, you know what I'm saying, was way shorter than Goliath. The most high I give a damn about that. So why are y'all even talking about that, man? Like, like talk to me. Did Yahweh Shai give a damn about that? Y'all letting y'all y'all and I'm and I, and I got a rant about certain things. This is why you need different components and body parts, because you have people, ministers of Satan, wolves in sheep's clothing, right? That's in the body, causing division with this stupid ideology. You cannot add worldly logic into the truth of God. A lot of you men are immature fools. It took y'all forever to be a leader. But then y'all let creatures who don't even understand their own feelings make you lose your integrity. I don't care if a, if a female doll think I'm, think I'm short or a nice guy. I'm not on this earth to prove how tough I am to her. The Lord said I'm her head. It doesn't matter how short or tall I am. Period. And she can't beat me physically. Exactly. Oh, you abusive. Then y'all go with the excuses. You limited blockheads, you seer conscious, evil spirited people. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body. The foot can't do what the hand do. Is it therefore not of the body? Oh, you're not a part of the body because you're not focused on the hand. What kind of what kind of creature? You don't have common sense to understand. Matter of fact, Miss Curie. And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body, man? The, the, the damn eye can't hear and the ear can't see. If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? There's no balance. The scriptures say a false balance is an abomination. So any of you guys get mad at me, you just against balance and you're against the most high through his son. Now what? Right. Check you all spirit and learn how to listen and understand people don't come from the same exact walk either. I didn't go through these damn hoops. All right. All you women friends on and all this all this bullshit. Look, man, I already got my bag. So it's nothing you can do or say. Whatever ideologies are in your stupid head, you creature. And I have to say it like that because you women with that spirit. They like to make people feel less than less than they are. I don't like you motherfuckers. Excuse the French. I don't like y'all, bro. I don't care how ugly or good you look. Why are you spit? Why are you on this earth wasting your goddamn time trying to make a man feel less than what he is and vice versa? This gender war bullshit. Yo, both sexes get on my nerve. Stay on my, that's why I'm on the sideline, man. Y'all figure it out. Been past that. Graduated. Man, I've been past that. I didn't, matter of fact, I was never really in that shit. You dummies. You humans created it for yourself. Blame yourself. Hum humans create ideologies and they believe in lies. And they wonder why the world the way it is. No, nah, ain't, ain't no wonder. But thank the most high. Because we've been suffering in the body. We've been joyful in the body. We've been glowing up in the body, man. Enjoying everything you can enjoy without any stipulations. That's why you people are mad. Because you're not in the body. If the whole were hearing, were the smelling. But now hath the how was set the members, every one of them in the body, as it hath pleased him. Nah, Lord, I don't want him doing that good. You know, you not focused. Wicked and rebellious. That's why I got to run y'all ass over, man. I got to run you over. Spiritually. Because in order to get to that love, which is normal back then. See, that, that 90s, 2000 love, I'm not finna go with the flow. Oh, no, get with the times. And when you young niggas talking about turning old shit off, man, shut the hell up, bro. You humans have got to be the most retarded creation. 
you just follow anything, any trend. You're afraid to be different. Then you get mad when somebody says something. Man, this is why having a sober mind and a clear conscience is so peaceful. It's so peaceful. Because nothing y'all say or do exists. It does not, bro. That's why God said, if you're a friend of the world, you're an enemy to him. It's freedom with, with this, this liberty in the new covenant. It's freedom. Being grateful for going through the pains, right, from the trenches, man. Who the fuck is thinking about a scallywag? Talking about how short or tall you are. They not, they, they ain't, put, they not warriors. I'm talking about the scallywags, man. Just because you got emotions and you cry, that don't make you soft. I know you cow only cowards say that. You trying to be honorable. You trying to be a hero. Goddamn slave minded idiot. Pork chop, dark, oily looking, nappy headed mofo. Oh, now you now you sound cut. You cuss in scripture say rebuke them sharply, man. That's how much common sense y'all lack. And then you got the, you get then you got your women, bro. And that's why I don't I don't touch on this often, but I'ma speak to clear the air. Oh, he's mysterious. He's to himself. Let me see what it's about so I can waste his time. Get the fuck from around me. Maybe some people are going through something and maybe they need somebody just to comfort them. All you men talking about. Don't vent to a woman. They don't care. Hold your goddamn integrity, man. Obviously, this is a creature that's evil. I don't I don't respect them. I don't I love them from a distance. But I know, no, I don't I don't like them. I don't respect them in anything about them. And if I got to get carnal and defend myself. Yeah. I don't respect a lot. Even like women. Right. Who see th see their brain the evil ones? I don't want a woman that's around me just because she feels so called power and all this carnal shit. Because I'm not finna get out of my goddamn toes. I'm not finna change who the fuck K Camp is for you. You ain't me. The fact that y'all are grown ass women and act like that. Especially Gen Xers, bro. You need your ass beat. Go inspire somebody. Go do something great for once. Y'all can't even get past. It's not about beauty. Y'all so fucking surface level. It pisses me off, bro. Including you men. Full of hatred. Oh, you're bitter. No, yeah, how a shot said, man. They all began to make excuses, bro. Now I see what he was talking about. Make excuses to be stupid and lose. And perish in the end. I'm not doing that. I only I only cherish the honorable experiences when it comes to the shawties, man. I said the shawty. I didn't say most of you women. Y'all were never in the game. They, they need a man with authority. Oh man, what the f get out of my face. Okay. This is why I teach what I teach, man. Shawty vibes. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now are they many members, and yet but one body. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee. Nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. The nay, meaning no, much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble or necessary. And those members of the body which we think with your damn brain to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more abundant honor. honor. Why? Because you're doing a dirty work. And our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness, right? So look at your physical body. Everybody got a booty hole. We'll come out of it. We'll come out of it. Boo boo. But God put that there. So what you gonna tell the most high? Oh God, you boo boo, it's stinging. Grow up. My woman with a big booty, she has a booty hole too, and she's gonna fart in boo boo. She's a human nigga. Stupid. Like 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 common sense. 
common sense. And if I was you, if I were you people, I would fear the Lord and repent. The Most High is not with this homosexualized vibration. He's not with this unbalanced vibration. And he, the scriptures say Yahweh Shai, he's not with no divorce, bro. Uh, and I'm going to say this too. I don't need advice from you men. I create my own vibe. I like, y'all know what I like. I've always been like that. All you women who do not have Hannah, Abigail, you can become one. But this spirit, this spirit of faithlessness, this spirit of delayed backwardness, this spirit of not having compassion, mercy, and love. One thing women can tell you, I've always carried myself as a king. I don't, I didn't need money, a car, none of this shit. It's nothing a woman can do to make me feel like I'm inferior. First of all, you're a bitch. I don't like bullies. I don't like murderers. I don't like evil. I don't like evil. I don't like whoremongers. I don't respect you niggas. And you got the, you got you over righteous street, street niggas. First of all, niggas just mean black, bro. Niggard means stingy. Stop walking in this. Stop acting like a damn Christian. You got a dude talking about he still eat pork, janking dim nose in Christ. Then you turn around like, bro. Go study the scriptures. Go study, man. The whole entire scriptures. I'm tired of you misguided boys and these big ass muscular bodies thinking you. What are y'all doing? And then they get upset. Did I do? Did I add my world into y'all's world, or did y'all go to other brothers and sisters and try to limit them, and try to control them? And then. Y'all the same people who killed Yahweh Shai when he was innocent. You same Christians, you same Israelites, y'all the same people. All this damn confusion. Because none of you brickheads have common sense to read the, to seek the truth of the world. You just believe any lie they throw to you. And a lot of you people, you're so damn dumb. You actually think you can live a life of sin and think you're finna get into the kingdom. When God told you. Yahweh Shai told you, you will not be in there. Then you, just like the older generation in, this, in the context. The Lord told them they weren't going to enter in. They still tried to go in. And the Lord killed their ass. Don't disrespect my Abba, my husband, Lord willing. He's not to be played with, bro. He going he gonna to fuck y'all up. The little boosies, the young boys, all you, yeah. All you people, like my dad, I'm going to give y'all an example. My dad, he was like, oh, I don't see why you, you know, help people. I'm not, what the fuck, you, what are you talking about, dude? For our comely parts have no need, but Yahweh hath tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked, man. Right? Why? That there should be no schism in the body. There's no breakage. Even in the Old Covenant, when you look at the Levitical priests, very, 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 very beautiful beloved ones. The Lord told him not to even have a blemish. So don't tell me that the Most High is not a lover of beauty. Y'all think being masculine is don't not, gro not grooming your hair, okay, and, and acting like an asshole and all that. Man, get out of my face, bro. I don't, I'm not, I'm not expecting somebody in the military to be like a Trey Songs and vice versa. This was always common sense. But see, you got warlocks and witches. Which ain't nothing but Satan's minions. Confusing the scriptures. Going in this Bible. And purposely causing confusion. And whether one member suffer. All the members suffer with it. Or, mem or one member be honored. All the members rejoice with it. Now ye are the body of Hamashiach. And members in particular. Right. And God hath set some in the church. First apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers. You can be a teacher of many things. Okay, you look at a tree. It does not just grow straight up. It grows and then it branches out. Okay. After that, miracles, then gifts of healing, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Are all apostles? No. Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Are all workers of miracles? 
And it's the same thing today. We have to break down to you followers and you people in the way. Oh, man. Listen, have all the gifts of healing. Do all speak with tongues. Do all interpret, but convey earnestly the best gifts. And yet show I unto you a more excellent way, man. So, you're supposed to love that own soul, man. All right. So, again, from my experience, all right, no matter how much people try to deny it, man, I got the receipts. I got the sexual receipts. I got plenty of those. I got the love receipts. See, these, these women know when they talk to K-Camp. Okay. They, 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 they know they got to come correct. I'm not accepting uh, just anything in righteousness, man. Don't force anything. Just, just, just be normal. All right. And let the Holy, I just let the spirit flow in my head and bring it out. Okay. That's what I do. I always had common sense to know that obviously the weaker vessel was created to be beautiful. But I like it deep, real, and authentic. I don't I don't do this. Oh, I have an ex and fuck buddies and all this dumb stuff. I'm chilling. I understand polygyny like a baby. Like it's it's very easy. But see, when you ruin the when you ruin the, the fun of learning, when you try to make somebody like you people basically you hinder somebody's potential because you keep trying to control them, think for them, and live through them. What you speak, the environment, the people you're around, all this stuff matters. Contrary to what people think, it matters. Okay, so like like I said with miracle, she 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 knows straight up. I will come to her face. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna play this bitch shit with you, with you and all this and all this, you know. Well, this mixed emotions. No, what is it? Us men are not. This is not telekinesis mind readers. The Lord told you, certain women are very, uh. Righteous, you got something that's very wicked. It ain't ain't no in between. I never I never I never had to be ultra aggressive and, and, and be so loud to get women to submit and to listen. Cause I speak to the soul and I don't play that shit. Don't call me a nigga. Don't don't even all that rat all that ignorant shit. I don't like bougie women. I don't like none of that stuff. I think royally. I always have. But I cherish the honor of a moment. I have enough love and compassion and honor to be genuine and sincere. I know I'm not weak. See what I'm saying? I'm not afraid to be different and to be a leader. I, I don't feel comfortable being around the multitude. I don't feel comfortable believing in lies. I don't. I never have. I don't feel comfortable being around a bunch of people, especially ones I don't know. So when, she, when I walk and she puts her head down, that's a sign of authority. And right, that's that's the how it shot in me. I don't deserve that. I don't deserve that type of honor. She just did it, did it herself. But a miracle. All right. When I caught when I caught you looking at me, you looked away. When I walked into, into in, inside the building and you hid behind your friend, I peep shit like that. Straight up. The, the moaning in my ear, all that stuff. I remember everything. All these women calling me a king and a prince or whatever. But see, I'm going to tell y'all to follow Sarah. I'm going to tell y'all to follow Elizabeth. I don't believe in you got to wait until you're 20, 30, 40 to figure out if you want a partner or whatever, then I have enough common sense to know 
she's not going to be perfect. How about we just enjoy the little things in life? Life is too difficult and short sometimes. Okay. All y'all claim to be solid or whatever. All y'all claim to be in, in a certain office, in a certain what's the name, but y'all y'all don't show the fruits of it. You don't you don't have the spirit of it. Okay. So with my office, those of you who's listening, okay, when I tell when I help these sisters, stop looking at it from a oh you a simp standpoint or whatever. No, I go in I go in specific examples. Teaching them how to take care of their body, showing them like, hey, being voluptuous is not unnatural, but this is how you dress. This is how you do this. Watch out for uh, Pharisee type women. Watch out for all that. And I'm naturally like that. I don't stop you men and women. Just grow. Let just let the spirit deal with you. OK, for you other brothers, man, like I said, I just be listening. I just listen. It's gotten to the point where I don't really want to be on the forefront. I just listen. But um, if one or two sisters, are, again, if they're edified or a brother, I did my job. But yeah, I was shy. You know, he would tell me he he would tell me um, what to bring out. But I got I want to get my heart right. I want to get my finances in order and I want to achieve and just glow, man. But it's 12 midnight. Um, I could I could I could have said a lot more. Uh, but I just wanted to, I wanted to say those couple things, man. Let beloveds be at peace and be normal again. All these all these distractions, man. Nah, bro, we ain't doing that. And uh our praise to the most high beloved get paid tomorrow, so you know you you know I'm finna load up I'm finna load up on the nutrition. All right. Get a get a fade on Friday, you know what I'm saying? And uh we finna we finna we finna bring balance, man. Alright, I'm finna bring my LMA shoddy vibes, all right. And uh that way if I if, when I die, man, that way uh brothers and sisters, specifically for the sisters, man, hey, y'all can just being just bro, being happiness, man. But anyway, peace and blessings and shallow on.